Yeah, I, I, defensively, we really, uh, I thought, had a great effort in the first quarter, second quarter, and it just, you, you know, took Dartmouth uh, out of the things that they're good at, and, and that was our goal. And I thought, you know, it really set the tone. Uh, it enabled us to get out in transition a little bit, and you know, but we, we were really locked in defensively on, on uh, uh, their best players. And, you know, I was really proud of, proud of that because it's something that you know, we're always trying to play the two, uh, to stop the two best players on the other team. And you know, at halftime, I think uh, you know they had five points between them, and, and they're both both of them can score. So I was really, uh, you know, we were really concerned coming into the game, and I think that just really changed the whole uh, flow of the game and the way we played defense the first half. Coach, you guys forced 16 turnovers in that first half. You know, Wolf talked about that advantage on the interior, but the perimeter defense, it seemed, was just as effective. You know, Sydney Wood had four steals, Ron and Burton had three. What is it about them that just makes them so special against a team that maybe isn't at their level? Yeah, I mean, I mean, they do it, you know, every game, though. You know, Sydney and, and V, are, they're just – they're really smart defenders. They get their hands. They anticipate well. They tip a lot of balls. And uh, – you're always in the right place, and I think that's the biggest thing. No. You know, Abby Shad didn't do a whole lot in the first half, but but got hot down the down the stretch with a couple threes. She's already had that five three pointer performance earlier this season. Four out of six today. Okay. Um, how Sorry. how consistent is she looking from beyond the arc? Yeah, I I mean we challenge her every day. She she wants you know to be in that position, and um, but I was proud of her for for seal and getting and, and getting the ball inside and scoring, and you know. Uh, putting it on the floor a little bit, finding her teammates. So, you know, she's she's doing a little bit of everything for us, and uh, she's, you know, she's a great shooter. Um, people know that too. So, you know, we got to get her the ball at different places. We got to make sure, uh, you know, we find her when she's open before people can get to her, and then she, you know, get her the ball inside out to play both, uh, you know, both the three point line and the block. In games like this, obviously you get to use you know parts of your bench that maybe didn't, don't get to see as much playing time in a typical game. What did you see from those types of players like Kayla Rainey, Leah Hartman, Bree Hopkins, who hadn't been getting as much time? Yeah, you know, I mean, we've had some injuries. We've we've had to um, they haven't had chance to practice a lot together. So yeah, I thought they did a good job. We saw uh, I thought Kayla Rainey came in against Boston College and you know really impacted the game in a positive way. So you know to get her going, she had been out. Uh, you know, most of the preseason. So, you know, it's a big plus for us. And, um, you know, we can we can go to our bench and not lose anything. You know, obviously that's what you want as a coach, and that's that's what great teams have. They have depth uh, where they either maintain or increase, you know, when you when you know, when you sub in. So, um, and again, as, as you mentioned too, to get Jordan back, you know, it's a big, it's a big thing for us, uh, confidence-wise too.